today we are at the Tallahassee Automobile Museum. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you didn't know she was going to say that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I know nothing about this place other than it is uh, full of automobiles and it Not necessarily just automobiles but modes of transportation oh because there are motorcycles oh, okay that makes sense and uh pedal cars and okay stuff, so. and i had no idea until we looked it up online that this is a harvest host location yeah so you can camp here you yeah. can dry camp here if you're staying overnight uh and but they encourage you to come inside mm -hmm. tour the place it's 17 dollars and 50 cents Unless you're seniors or military, seniors and military, it's fifteen dollars a person. So that's a little pricey, but but it's a hundred thousand square feet of vehicles. Yeah. So you're gonna get a lot. So we will go. We'll take you with us, and we'll let you know if it's worth stopping at. is a very cool piece of history. That is pretty cool. Behind us is the hearse that carried Abraham Lincoln's body from, I don't know where it where started, it wherever it started, all the way probably to Springfield. The was at the capital. Yeah, probably the capital. Then just all the way to Springfield, Illinois, making 180 different stops. And I'm not sure how they got it, <laughs> but it's pretty cool it's to see. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just to know that, that President Lincoln was transported in this, in this hearse. Yeah. So um, we'll show you a little bit closer up and a little bit better. Or even the transportation it's automobile a museum. Memorabilia museum too. Lots of different. Um, well they had some, some famous pianos. Yeah. Uh, they have uh, lots of different sports memorabilia. Tons mm -hmm. of these golf clubs from professional golfers. Back in the day. Autographs from a bunch of different professional athletes. Yeah. Presidents. Yeah. Just all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so. It's a lot to take in. We'll show you all the stuff. <laughs> well, we can't show you all the stuff. It's just too much stuff. stuff. But we'll show you a lot of the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> seen a lot of cool stuff so far yeah now we see the coolest oh geez the batmobiles <laughs> original bat cycle from the series yeah batmobile from the original series yeah 
one from Batman Returns, one of the three cars one that they used here in Batman Returns, and yeah. I'm not sure about some of these, but we'll show you up close and tell you yeah. a little bit more about them as we see them. Here is the motorcycle that was used in the original series. Of course, Batman would be driving, and Robin would be in a little baby sidecar. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Batmobile from Batman Returns. Car number two of three. I'm sure they destroyed <laughs> at least one of them. But this, this one looks like it's in great condition. This one's crazy. This one looks awesome. What is it? So this is the 1995 Batmobile in Batman Forever. Okay. Now, it was Batman Forever number two vehicle. And it was two point eight million dollars to make it that's the base price oh my gosh yeah all right that's insane there's no car worth that much and back here you can see penguins duckmobile <laughs> from batman returns which is very cool too and this is the original Batmobile from the series, which is super cool. Evil Knievel's actual motorcycle yep. called Color Me Lucky. Wasn't so lucky though. <laughs> Not so lucky. <laughs> Not according to the paper. <laughs> this motorcycle, Evil Knievel, attempted a jump on December 31st, 1967 in Las yep. Vegas, crashed hard. Hard. And he was in a coma for a month. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the motorcycle that he was on when that happened. So. Uh. Very interesting stuff. Yeah. There's lots of vehicles in here that have stories about either presidents or famous actors, actresses, yeah. films that they've films, been in, yeah. um, things that uh, that have happened to those specific vehicles. Yeah. Um, every one of them has information on it, at least like base price, how much it cost when it was in manufacturing, yeah. uh, the year that it came, came out. out yeah. um, a lot of them have information about you know horsepower uh, and yeah. How many miles per gallon um, they can get and yeah. all that that crap. Interesting so stuff. You could be in here for oh yeah, if you read every a long thing. long time. Yeah. Oh yeah. But well, we thought the evil can evil thing was interesting, yeah. so I figured we share that with you. <laughs> we were hoping to show you more of Tallahassee, mm -hmm. but the weather just didn't cooperate. No. It was it, not good. It rained every day. Every day except for the day we went to the automobile museum. Yeah, that was the only day. That was the best yeah. day. And so normally we'll do a couple things outdoorsy and go on a bike ride or a hike or a something, something. but yeah. we were not able to do anything. Yeah. Uh, we did attempt to go to the <laughs> capital. Yes, we did attempt. Fail. Update your websites, people. Come well, on. it was really a, a big pet peeve during COVID for it me. It has been because on the on the website it said that it was open and they were doing. Um, Self-guided self -guided tours. tours, which led me to believe that they had addressed the COVID issue, and, and just, that that is an updated yeah website exactly because otherwise it would have just talked about tours in general yeah and then when you showed up you weren't you wouldn't be able to go yeah so it kind of led us to believe that okay this is their plan for COVID is self-guided tours protocol. yeah so we went there on a crap it was crappy. It was double fail, really, because not only were we not able to go in, we went and the visitor doors were locked, and there was a piece of paper that said, sorry, can't come in. Due to COVID concerns. For the but, safety of uh, the politicians. <laughs> That's not what it said. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it said the employees only were allowed in the building. Yeah. So that sucked. And it was such a bad weather day. Yeah. It was horrible. 
wanted to go to uh, the Knot House because that's where Lincoln supposedly did his Emancipation Proclamation from there. Yeah, so we did not get to go to the Knot House. No, their website said (laughs) we did not get to go to the Knot House. The website said it was closed due to COVID. Yeah, but we at least wanted to drive by and see it. But but it was so foggy and rainy. Terrible. You couldn't see anything. It's just terrible timing to be in Tallahassee. And there's not a ton to do in Tallahassee anyway, but when six out of the seven days are just cold, foggy, misty, rain, yeah. just and, not fun. And the handful of things you can do there are not open. It just made it really hard. Yeah, and there are there are some outside stuff that you can do, oh, but yeah, we just tons of weren't able to do is, any yeah. of it. So, oh, well. Next time. A reason to go back to Tallahassee, I yeah. guess. Um, otherwise, it seemed like an okay city. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people said, why are you going to Tallahassee? There's nothing to do in Tallahassee. There is stuff to do. It just needs to be open. Yeah. <laughs> and the weather needs to be good. Yeah. And, and the Automobile Museum was awesome. That was such a cool place. Very cool. And so if you're passing through here, definitely stop there. If you're a Harvest Host member, definitely stop overnight. Uh, we had already booked our campground bef- and way before we were even Harvest Host members. Right. Yeah. So it wasn't like a, a Harvest Host destination. So. Yeah. But if you're only passing through for the day or for the night, definitely stop there. Very cool Camp place. for free. Go into the uh, Automobile Museum. Yeah. It's worth it. It was so worth it. I had fun in there. And it's a good thing we got to do that, or else we wouldn't have a Tallahassee video at all. <laughs> well, that's so true. <laughs> Sad, but true. Uh, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to see how you can help us help veterans on the road, all the information that you need is in the description of this video right down there. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.